Um, a bit of a long story, but uh, I was hit by a truck driving to work in my car and had a severe um, injury and uh, uh, flew me to Royal Perth Hospital and put some pins in, in my arm, three big titanium pins. Then luckily I met a Feldenkrais practitioner who told me that, well, it's not going to heal if you're going to move it like that. And I spoke to my surgeon, he said, oh, you'll end up with a frozen shoulder, you have to do this. And then I went back to the Feldenkrais practitioner and she um, she said, just the only way that'll heal is rest. Now the surgeon wanted to put a plate and, and screws in, in my arm to, to, to heal, to, um, to join the bone back together. And uh, the Feldenkrais practitioner said, well, you don't want to do that. And the surgeon was going to take bone off my hip and putty it up. And so it's through the Feldenkrais practitioner who got me to keep it still for about six or eight weeks. And then we got an x-ray done. And sure enough, the bone was starting to heal. So from then on, I was um, I stayed with the Feldman Cross practitioner, and um, we started doing uh, exercises in the water. Um, she taught me how to um, swim swim better. I was swimming like this and trying to copy my my bad arm to copy my good arm, but the practitioner Feldman Christ went, "No, get your good arm to copy your bad arm." And all of a sudden, I started swimming properly. The whole body was balanced, and that was great. And uh, since then I've been doing work on the ski and swimming and surfing and Tai Chi and I put it down to um, meeting a Feldenkrais practitioner and it was so much common sense. Uh, I, mean, I was repeating myself but I haven't got the plate and the screws and I don't have a limp because they took bone off my hip and uh, I'm feeling healthy and, and well. <laughs>